Now we'll go around the table on this. Do you guys think you can be sexist against men? Starting with Zombri. <laughs> Define that question. Um, can you be sexist against men? I don't think so. I feel like I treat everything like equal, like between men. Mm. Towards who and what? Yeah. You're quiet, so you gotta really speak into the mic. I think he was asking objectively, not personally. Mm hmm. Like if people in general can like, be yeah, can sexist. can you you know you often hear for example does sexism towards men exist? Can you be uh, sexist yeah, I yeah. Think towards so. men? Okay, should I double should I double down on this question? Can you be racist against white people? That's another. <laughs> let, that, let's yes. double down on He's that. Really fishing, so why don't you answer both? He's really Go fishing. Ahead. Um, I don't think so. Mm. To both. Well, well, before we have anyone, we'll allow everyone on the panel to answer this question. What about what do you think? I don't think you can be sexist towards men, and I don't think you can be racist towards white people. Mm. I, oh. think, I think that prejudice knows no color or any kind of bounds. You can be awful to anybody for any reason, and it sucks. Okay. Kayla? I agree with her. With, with who? Um, meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I wasn't sure if you were pointing to our center. Okay. Les, what about you? I genuinely think you can be sexist towards men and definitely racist towards white people. Okay, what about Both you? of those things definitely exist. Yeah. What about you, back there? Uh, yeah, I think it's the same. Okay. I agree. <laughs> Bro, way too many people sexist towards men. And, All right. yeah, you can be racist to white people. There you I go. can't say Based. the N word, but other people can. That's segregation of words. <laughs> Wait, no word. Word. Wait, what? Okay. Roll, roll it back. Oh roll, 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 roll it back. Roll it back. That's crazy. That's what, crazy. Did she say? Uh, what did she say? What did she say? Repeat. She wants permission to. No, I have the pass from my friend. It's always the widest okay, one. Okay, but you definitely don't say it. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not but you definitely saying. don't have the pass in front of me. So are you are you part part black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm half African and half European. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. So um, sh oh. she says you don't have the pass. How do you feel about that? Mm. No, then but I, the tea is, is that, that I don't have it. Oh, you, you don't have it? So her abuse of ex used to call me that. So. The, the N-word? Mm -hmm. That... Well, I don't encourage. I'm good off of. That. I, I don't encourage yeah, people using the N-word as. <laughs> no. Uh, so. Uh, I feel like. I know you can be sexist towards men because I'm the I'm that bitch that's always like, oh. no, that's a man's job. I ain't doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, here's the kicker: when it came to the ex calling you that word, but. did your ex call you the N word? Yes. Did he really? Can yes. Yes. Dead, yes still does You're to this day. You're a little pale, I think, for that to have made sense. But that's okay. Crazy. Uh, hey, what, you don't care. Uh, yeah, you could absolutely be sexist towards men, um, and yes, you could absolutely be racist towards white people, and anybody who disagrees with me, I very much ask you to challenge me. I'm confused. As like, a, can wait, I get an example? Hold, hold on. Like, yeah, I, as a victim just, of physical racial violence, yeah, I ask you yeah, to challenge somebody me. Hold on. I yeah, I used to, to get beat up there. every single day for no oh. reason, because I was, that sounds because like I was white. Cap. Uh, okay. That literally makes no okay, sense. Okay, you, you cannot tell somebody else's... Wait, hold on a second. Question. question. You cannot, you you cannot, like call, you wait, cannot call somebody uh, else's personal experience wait, 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 wait. cap. That's hold just on. rude. Yeah. Hold on, question. You're going to have to explain arson. that to me. Arson. arson. I got a scenario for you. <laughs> yeah. I you. Arson, are you, you, are you half white, half Asian? Is that... Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's say a group of Asian people... Mm -hmm. Found a white dude, mm -hmm. and they just started beating the fuck out of him, I and they started that. calling him the c word yeah. while they were doing it. Wait, would that be? Cracker. Would that maybe be racially motivated? Mm, I mean, maybe, but like historically, they probably deserve it. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Are you wow. joking? If you're gonna say that, I mean like, no harm when I say this. I was but if you're going to say that like, about okay. white people. You have to go ahead and flip that coin and be able to say it about the other races as well. What, you, what did they do? Like, oh! <laughs> okay. Kayla, are you tied? Yeah, no. where, where you she's going to have to run what? when we go outside. So do you think a 12-year-old deserves to be beat up because they're white? Because I mean, of racial? Chill. If it's a child, heck no. Christ. 
But okay. you think anyone well, or even an adult to be white like beat up because they're white? Ancestry. I think no one gets to deserves to be beat up. Unless, period. Unless but I like don't get really mad if I were to see that. You know, if you, I saw the other one, like that would inside like mad. That's and that's the problem. Take. That's, that's, an that's, an that's the exact take. reason I didn't. She's get got help. some hot takes tonight. <laughs> no, Holy shit! Like, like honey, you're the problem. Our sin. Get some help. What about it? When we get off side list. When we get off side list. Stop with the side conversations. Um, how have you arrived at that conclusion? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Just hearing like all the stories about like all this messed up stuff they did in the past. Like I'm not even yeah. black, but I have a grudge against them. Well, wait, yeah. but you're part, part white. Can I, you're part white. Can yeah. I just can I just take? And can, I have, we, can we go go down this path? Mm-hmm. What what stories are you referring to in particular? I don't know. Just learning stuff in history. Like, are you YouTube referring videos? to? Hold slavery? on a second. Can yeah. I just? Can yeah, we just? Exactly. Are you are you referring to slavery? Yeah, and just like the treatment of them over time since then, like all the discrimination. Do you think that uh, white people were the only ones who engaged in slavery? Pro- probably not. That's probably around the world too. Do something. you think that maybe the fact that you don't know that everybody engaged in slavery is part of the reason why you think the way that you do about this? Um, I don't know. I know. I don't think it has to do with my worldviews. I think it has to do with the insecurity of myself. I don't like the white part of me, so I kind of project that onto others, probably. Thank right. you. Right. Okay. Well, Is that's that well, racist? that's that's a pretty that's a pretty self-aware thing to say. But like, just in terms of your like knowledge, how do you think that like the uh, at the the transatlantic slave trade? How do you think they went about getting slaves? Like, what do you think the process was? Didn't they go up like uh, that's that's part of America, right? They like went into Africa and stole them from their homes. Yeah, so you think that they just went to Africa and then like rounded them all up and like caught them, put them in sacks, and then put them <laughs> on that's, the boat? That's pretty much what I the gist of what I got out yeah. of So the reality books. of it is, and like it's not your fault for not knowing this, our education system is so flawed mm-hmm. that the Africans who were sold in the slave trade were sold by other Africans. So there were slave markets in Africa where they would capture their own people and then sell them off overseas. And there was also the Barbary slave trade as well, which was um, like Arabic Barbary pirates who would capture white Europeans and enslave them too. And there was like over a million white Europeans that were enslaved during the Barbary slave trade. And the Arabics were ones were particularly brutal because they used to castrate the men. And then if they, if they were ever to be caught by like another ship, they would chuck them all overboard, slit their throats and chuck them over- overboard. So mm. sla- slavery happened around the world everywhere. So wait, are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. That's where the term slave mm. comes from is the Slavic region. Exactly. That's why Eastern Europeans are so oppressed even within Europe. I don't know, but I didn't see them oppressed over here that much. Like, didn't, I don't know. In history, I don't, I don't see books talking about the oppression of white people yeah that's why that's, do you think that's that a is? problem <laughs> why do you yeah, think that is because schools push it <laughs> why do they leave out white people being a victim of slavery in history i feel like we only learn like u.s history mo- mostly like that's what i learned there was also more. racism against white people throughout the country as well mm-hmm. the italians faced persecution every iteration yeah. of a new the immigrant irish. faced irish. yeah irish the and the Holocaust? scottish yeah. you know how people make fun of the south you know how people make fun of that accent yeah. or whatever that's a scottish accent it comes from the Appala- they settled in the appalachian region the hillbilly terms comes from the billy boys of you read your thomas soul hey i haven't no no okay <laughs> so i'm like there has been racism basically it's tribalism basically like everyone basically says this is my tribe i'm against that one this is my tribe i'm against that one the most evident and also the most culturally obvious one is between white and black people. But it's like, what is your definition of whiteness, which is always contested? And also when it comes to blackness, what constitutes blackness, which is another contested question. Right, because white oh. comes from a long line of like the Irish and all that. And like she so. said before, the word slave comes from the, the Slavic Slavic people. Yeah. So I'd also like to white. clarify a question with you. Go ahead. So you basically said that you think that there is sexism against men, correct? Yes. I, what would you define as an example of sexism against men? Like when a man is like, oh, go make me a sandwich. Yes. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Go dig that hole outside. Yes. Like, I feel like that's very much sexist. I, I, I would that's reverse equality. that. I would say, if, so. I would say sexism against men, I would say sexism oh. against men is truly defined by denigrating healthy masculinity and expecting them not to do those sort of things. I think if you expect a man to be in his feminine, to be like, oh, be more emotionally expressive, they naturally don't go in that direction. Women are more like psychologically internal, so we need that venting that sometimes men have to kind of 
basically maneuver. Men but I think physical. that's truly the definition of sexism, is to denigrate the patriarchy, denigrate masculinity, and to be sexist is to basically say, submit yourself to me, let me take care of you, let me coddle you. At that point, you're basically I mean, neutering. Honestly, that sense even, to me. even in this generation, I feel like it's becoming more of that, where these men are expecting... Or they're like lacking the sassy man at the yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like lacking something to where like, oh, they're now the females of this generation. Mm -hmm. The women were raised by independent females, but and they're who, like the men. You who know? do you think is, in part, in a grand step, playing for that? Like, who do you think is contributing to that largely? What do you mean contributing like to? A lot of the rhetoric that you hear from women is basically like, oh, you know, that woman expects too much. I'm going to be able to take care of him. I'm going to provide him X, Y, or Z. But when it, no, comes to the, when it comes to the practical application of it, as we kind of see sometimes, when you give a man so much that's not healthy for him, it's not nurturing, it's not peace, it it's not something that you're from your natural femininity, yeah. it's mm -hmm. basically like you're taking yourself for granted. You're taking your own virtues for yeah. whatever. You're letting him take advantage of you, basically. But it's also like... I don't know. I, I kind of lost the stream of thought, but it's it's pointless. It's useless. Like it's basically trying to live up to a man's role, which it just doesn't naturally play out that way. Yeah. There's something to be said about the fact that if you say to a woman, "Make me a sandwich," that's meant to be derogatory. But if you say to a man, "Do the do like mow the lawn," he's like, "Okay." Right. <laughs> Right. It's my role. It's my role. I don't know. I just have never. I just never seen sexism in my personal life. So I just like. I don't even know what you're talking about, really. Like, you know what I'm Mental saying? Mental health. Do you guys um, labor? Do you like, guys think yeah. that safety? Uh, 